This is the Whirlpool High Efficiency Washer, model number WTW7500GW. Uh, this is a 4.8 cubic foot machine, so it's going to be large enough for your king size bedding. Uh, has the intuitive touch control, just like your smartphone screen, no, no buttons to press. Just um, This has also got the impeller as opposed to having an agitator so it's going to be more gentle on your clothing let you'll notice less lint in your dryer clothing will last longer now honestly I don't really recommend these types of machines if you have a job that gets your garments heavily soiled like say you work construction or landscaping or mechanic work something to that that extent um, you're really going to need something that actually beats up your clothes for the for that uh, this has a stainless steel wash tub with the little dimples on it so that holds your clothes out from the edge while it's doing that high spin speed and extracts more water from the clothing. That helps them come out a little more dry, saves time and energy on your drying cycle which is going to cost a lot more money on electricity. It also has this built-in water faucet. Now this can be used for washing out your detergent cup after you dump your detergent in. You know, we all hate that. You got to turn it back over, put it on the cup and it spills out. Um, it can also be used for pre-treating clothing. Just press it to turn it on. Press it again to toggle it off. If you mistakenly leave it on, after 10 minutes it will cut off. Um, has the dispenser here for your laundry detergent, your fabric softener. You can use liquid or powder detergent. Just remove this tray if you're using powder. Uh, your bleach dispenser is right here. One big thing about this is this is made in the USA. Whirlpool is designed, engineered, and assembled in the US. Um, it also has this uh, deep water wash cycle. Now what that is, it's going to kind of get over that government mandate for low water usage. A lot of people are very unhappy with these high efficiency washers produced today because frankly it doesn't put enough water in. Uh, now these are engineered to wash in low water settings, but if you prefer deeper water, you can toggle it on with the deep water wash. It also has a quick wash cycle that is going to, I'll just speed it up because uh, all this stuff now that's produced today does take longer. Dishwashers also, it takes longer to wash because of the water usage mandates. It also has a pre-soak cycle. A lot of washers today don't have that and that is kind of important, especially if you like to do a pre-soak. This machine has a direct drive motor. What that means, older machines actually had belt driven motors and over time that belt gets slack or breaks. With direct drive motors, it is an actual electromagnetic motor with no belt, less moving parts, less to break, and it also gives this machine the ability to use its complex algorithms to do different wash motions with that agitator at the bottom uh, for different style clothing. Um, it has the slow close lid, just a kind of neat feature. You open it, slow close. So that's nice. This machine goes up to an 850 rounds per minute spin speed. What that's going to mean to you is when you take these clothes out of the washer to put them in the dryer, your dryer is not going to take as long to dry them. It's extracting more of that water, as I said earlier before, with the dimples along the tub. It's extracting more of that water out and thus making it more energy efficient. Once again, Whirlpool is designed, manufactured, and assembled in the U.S. Uh, very nice machine. Check it out.